So here are the steps I want you to follow if you're trying to beat the Amazon A10 algorithm. Step number one, relevancy. Now you might be thinking relevancy, what is that? Well, it's, more, it's one of the most important factors because this is where all the search results rely on when being ranked. So this factor tells the algorithm if your product page can be considered for a specific search term. It also includes the product titles and description. Remember, folks go on Amazon to shop and to browse, right? So let me share with you a few factors that come into play when we talk about relevancy. So you have the title. So having a target keyword in your title is quite essential on Amazon. The more keywords in the title, the better your chances of having your products increase when it comes to its Amazon keyword ranking. This is actually in contrast, and I would say in sharp contrast, to Google, which requires you to create an engaging title and include your keyword as close to the start as possible. Although you might see it as rather spammy, it can actually work to your benefit. In fact, you can even go beyond the 80 character limit just to cram in a lot of keywords as you can. So this is kind of cool. So you have the title. You got to think about your product description. So the product description is also pivotal because it engages with customers a lot. Based on our research, customers actually love a great product description. The rankings take into consideration the single usage of a keyword so that there is no need to use one keyword many times. So putting pictures and making detailed yet understandable descriptions helps a lot, a lot. Then you have the brand and manufacturer part number. This is kind of cool. It's really quite essential when it comes to uh, increasing your relevancy. So Amazon puts product pages with the manufacturer part number and the brand included at the top of the Amazon list. It, it makes actually your products easy to find on search filters and very accessible to people who are looking for a certain brand and even product model. So the, the A10 algorithm will make sure that they actually uh, in, it, it actually incorporates that aspect of things and its results, okay? You also have features or bullet points. So Amazon requires all product pages to have bullet points. So you wanna take advantage of this by filling your bullet points with keywords and detailed information about your products. So besides title, product description, brand and manufacturer part number, features and bullet points, you also have specifications. Now, before I, I talk about specific specifications, please allow me to welcome you back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. Just make your, yourself comfortable. Take notes if you, if you want to. So if you are trying to actually beat the Amazon algorithm on the relevancy aspect, on the relevancy criterion, make sure that your, your specs are really, really clean and straight to the point. The specs are where you should expound about your products and all of its physical and technical features. Okay. And besides the specs, you also have category and subcategory. So when a customer, for example, searches for a product, he or she enters, enters a category, which with which the results will be limited to, right? So under that category are subcategories in which the customer is limited to until he or she wants to look for an overview of all departments or go back to the home page so because of that you should place your products in the most relevant categories and subcategories this requires this does not require a lot of time people think it requires a lot of time and a lot of uh, fda sellers think this is a waste of time it is not a waste of time this is a an investment worth your time so besides specifications category and subcategory you got to think about the source keyword so the hidden factor is one of uh, this hidden factor is one of amazon's hidden ways for determining the relevance of a listing to a given search it also it's also another means that amazon uses to track every single minute detail that the customers are actually uh, spending when it comes to their activity on the platform so you also have search terms so aside from categories subcategories source keywords specifications you also have the option to specify search terms to associate with your products although amazon will list five different search term fields each having a 50 character limit 
it will be ideal to think of them as a single text box which contains up to 250 characters where you can place every search term you want okay this is really important so be very careful about that so when we talk about the very first proven way to beat amazon's a10 algorithm to increase your amazon sales relevancy so within relevancy think about title product description brand and manufacturer part number features or bullet points specifications category and subcategory source keywords search terms the second thing the second proven way to beat amazon's e a10 algorithm to increase to boost your e-commerce sales on the platform is customer satisfaction this goes back to e-commerce 101 you got to please your customer i don't care how good your product is or how excellent you think your product is if the customer is pissed if customers are pissed at you or at your products you're not going to last on, on the on the platform okay so amazon thrives on customer satisfaction because it rips in profit when a customer is happy he or she comes back to avail of that service again and again and again and again right and even uh, jeff bezos famously said publicly that amazon really prides itself on the excellence of its service okay so amazon is aware that having a lower customer base is important and retaining customers is one of the best ways to maximize their return on on investments so the idea of having a customer purchase something for multiple transactions is much easier than having a customer spend a big amount of money on a single purchase so customer satisfaction also involves order defect rate and seller feedback so here are a few rankings that customer satisfaction is based upon on the platform so you have here negative seller feedback so amazon tracks the amount of negative seller feedback or how often it happens in case you are wondering why negative feedback instead of uh, simply seller feedback it's because the company claims that they do not track positive seller feedback when calculating for the product ranking algorithm however they do track the rates of the negative feedback as such in order to win the so-called buy box on amazon you will need really high seller feedback as much as uh, as much as possible so you have uh, number one negative seller feedback Number two, you got to think about the perfect order percentage. So this is referred to as POP or POP. So this simply measures the number of orders that went smoothly once the, customers, once the customer clicks on the add to cart option right up to the arrival of the order at their address. So having a perfect POP would also mean having a prompt shipping, accurate listing, and high in stock rate since that's what Amazon is aiming for. So you got it because Amazon is aiming to give their customers a, a really great customer service. So they will naturally place sellers with high pop above the Amazon seller ranking than those with lower pop. Think also about your in stock rate. Most buyers will not like it if they want to buy a product, but it's not currently in stock. This, is, this normally happens when an item is out of stock or the seller has forgotten to monitor their inventory. So a consistently stocked inventory is important to stay on top of the Amazon product, product rankings. So the in-stock rate is measured by two major metrics. You have the percentage of orders refunded and the pre-fulfillment cancellation. So sellers have uh, bad customer retention when they have low in-stock rates, which have an effect of having higher rates of customers canceling orders and refunding the products. Therefore, if you want to have a high Amazon sales rank, you'll have to make sure that you, your inventory is stocked regularly. This will also help you maintain your ranking both in the buy box and the results in the product search. I want to continue on the customer satisfaction uh, section here. So besides negative seller feedback, perfect order percentage, in stock rate, you also have to deal with packaging options, okay? By the way, I wanna quickly remind you of today's topic. We're having a conversation about three proven ways to beat Amazon's A10 algorithm to boost your e-commerce sales. So packaging options. So this one cannot be considered a metric used by Amazon to rank products. However, based on our research, and we have done extensive research about this, we've seen that some product packaging options 
included in the product search results are definitely they make a big difference when it comes to search results so amazon is clearly actually paying attention to the packaging options too you also have uh you also have the order processing speed so fast order processing speed is one is one way to make customers happy so sellers with speedy and consistent order processing are more likely to rank higher than those with slow shipping you also have the exit rate so this actually refers to the frequency by which a customer checks your listing, then closes the Amazon window. So if you have a high exit, this is kind of similar to what we call uh, the bounce rate in uh, e-commerce. Okay. So if you have a high exit rate, that could mean that your ranking that could mean that your ranking will suffer. Also, Amazon views this as as you having a low quality listing. So most of the time, a high exit rate can happen due to an incomplete product listing or a low in stock rate. You also have an order defect rate. So this metric works the opposite to POP. So POP, remember, POP is perfect order percentage. So ODR, order defect rate, can happen when a customer makes a claim with a certain order. So in most cases, an order defect rate can happen due to negative buyer feedback, credit card chargeback, and certain other factors. So those said factors will also count towards your ODR, which is the ratio of your order defects to the total orders you have fulfilled within a certain time frame. So this is those are metrics I really want you to really think about. Okay, and according to Amazon, you have to strive for an ODR which is below one percent. One percent. Your order defect rate should be less than one percent. Additionally, you got to keep in mind that buyer removed negative feedback will not count towards your ODR. It's therefore advisable in our view to address your customer's issues promptly. It's all about establishing that relationship in terms of customer service. Very, very quintessential. The third way to actually uh, increase, uh, to beat Amazon's uh, A10 algorithm is to think about your conversion rate. So first, first proven way, think about relevancy. Second proven way, customer satisfaction. Third proven way, conversion rate. So when we talk about conversion, and this is a word that a lot of folks use without really understanding the details of it. So conversion rate factors, things like pricing, image quality, reviews, and, and, uh, and other items. So the algorithm has an effect from the conversion rate. And one thing you need to understand here is that the algorithm, the algorithm will consider both the real time and predicted conversion rates when ranking products. So Amazon will predict a conversion rate lower than your listing and uses it until real time data corrects it. So wh when we talk about the conversion rate that the Amazon uh, algorithm assigns to your listing, there are a few factors that really you have to pay attention to. So your sales rank. So this shows the number of a product sales compared to other similar ones. So the thing here is that you got to think about how your your product ranks in the sales hierarchy here. And Amazon even has a beta testing Amazon sales rank feature in which they show the best selling products in the search results. OK, so you also have answered questions. So the QAs are situated near the top of the web page, making them essential for your conversion rate. So the more questions and answers a product has, the more likely it has it, it, it is to have a high Amazon ranking because Amazon will see that you actually spend the time to actually write those Q&A and really uh, provide provide very detailed answers. OK, customer reviews are also important. So customer reviews rake in both positive and negative feedback. So this is important. It's obvious that the more positive customer reviews your product has, the higher the ranking it will get. You also have to think about image size and quality. So there are certain certain categories on the platform that will not display the results of products that do not contain at least one image. Okay, and uh, so the requirements this requirement is important because it allows customers to see exactly what they are buying and also there are some size requirements that are important here so we have uh, there the the prerequisite here is 1000 by 1000 pixels dimension and this is because customers should be able to use the hover to zoom feature which zooms into the image and gives them a closer look of the products so this is really important
And also, I just want to continue in terms of the conversion rate. I want to quickly remind everybody of today's conversation. We're having, we're talking about the top three ways to beat Amazon, the Amazon's algorithm here. And uh, so, I talked talk to you about, I've talked to you about the relevancy, the customer satisfaction, and now we're speaking about the conversion rate. The conversion rate. We spoke about sales rank, answered questions customer reviews, image, size, and quality. Now let's talk about the price. The price plays an important role. Amazon is well aware that customers always want to get a good deal. So an Amazon product can be listed as number one, even if it has less amount of reviews, customer ratings, and rank because it might have decent ratings and the pricing is lower than the average. Okay, and uh, and one thing I want to say here is though, you have to keep in mind that customer reviews are still important here. So pricing cannot be the only reason why a product can rank first. Also think about the parent-child products. Okay, a child listing is a feature which lets you offer the products in a different size or color. So this feature maximizes reviews as Amazon will put all of your similar products together in one main product page. So having all products on one primary page will make customers more likely to make a purchase from you. And aside, aside from that, based on our research, we have seen that, you know, Amazon prefers ranking products that offer multiple options. You also need to think about time on page and bounce rate. So the time on page metrics is how Amazon tracks the amount of time a customer spends on your page. So the more time spent means the more interested the customer is. It also means that he or she is most likely to, to, to make a purchase after reading through the reviews, checking your product's full description, browse, browsing through the Q&A session, and so this is kind of cool. On the other hand, a bounce rate is the rate at which a customer searches for a product, goes to your product page, then clicks on a related product offer or searches through the results again. Okay, this is kind of important. And you also have the product listing completeness. So this is important. This also goes into your conversion rate. It helps Amazon determine whether or not your uh, your listing is complete, is thorough enough, provides a lot of information. Okay, and uh, so this is uh, yeah. So you have it. So this is those are the three elements that actually help you beat the Amazon's A10 algorithm: relevancy, customer satisfaction, and conversion rate. Let's have a quick conversation, a general conversation here, and this is the bonus for you. If you have made it so far, I just want to give you a big bonus here. Let's have a conversation about the, the Amazon algorithm. What is it exactly? Let, let's just uh, talk a little bit about it so people have a clear idea of what we're speaking about. So Amazon SEO is similar to Google or Yahoo search engines, except their platform is almost entirely geared toward e-commerce. For the Amazon algorithm to be effective, products must be searchable by consumers. So the algorithm ranks companies and their products on the website. And the algorithm called Amazon A10 ranks all the products based on, on several factors. So you have the sales performance history, the text match relevancy. So this begins with the product title and it also includes the description and product copy. The price of course is important. So when your pricing is much higher than others, your competitor might win the sale. Also, the algorithm takes into account stock availability. So when you have run out of stock, the listing ranking may just decrease or fully disappear. So make sure you plan for this. There are also indirect, so, so those factors are the direct factors here, but you also might have indirect factors that, that actually impact Amazon's final product ranking. So this includes things like promotions, advertising, Premium content, very important. Images, reviews, fulfillment methods, whether you have chosen uh, FBA or FBM, FBM standing for uh, fulfillment by merchants, that mean being you, or fulfillment by Amazon FBA. And uh, so the thing here is that Amazon is, Amazon is constantly changing their algorithm. They're constantly revamping their algorithm. And uh, so we have learned recently that Amazon is, uh, has uh, added new features that increase and improve their uh, Amazon A10 uh, uh, work, the process. So they are including things like seller authority, impressions, internal sales, PPC sales, the click-through rate, the offsite sales, 
the conversion, the sales history, the organic sales. So sales history history is important because Amazon wants to actually reward those sellers who have been on the platform for a long time because in the past they, they, they weren't really paying attention to, to those uh, to those sellers. But going forward, Amazon Amazon is making sure that if you have a history, if you have a proven track record on the platform, they will reward you with some some with higher rankings. Let me give you a few pro tips before I close to this conversation. So I have, I've given you the three three important elements that will help you actually beat the Amazon's A10 algorithm. I've also explained to you what the algorithm really is. Okay. Now it's important to understand that uh, if you want to master the algorithm and to sell consistently, there are a few things you need to do. Make the Amazon process competitive. This is very important. Whatever you sell on the platform. Whatever you have on the platform, please make your prices competitive. I'm not I'm not asking you to engage in the pricing war to the bottom. No, because you still need to derive revenue from your activity. You still need to actually engage with sellers. You need to, you still need to be passionate about your business, and you still need to understand you're not running a charity here. Okay, but I want you to be aware that competitive prices on Amazon increase the chances of sales and raise product rankings on the website. So you want to research the different products and see how to price yours competitively. Make sure to also look at the seasonal aspect as well. If it's the holiday season, then a promotion will really do well in winning the sales. And you want to encourage consumers to write reviews. Reviews are, are actually one of the best ways to build customer trust. I've said that before. This is because other consumers are writing honestly about what they think of the products. And uh, without reviews, the seller might lose credibility because it indirectly tells customers the product is not selling. Also, think about ensuring the performance and rankings of, uh, of your products are monitored. So you want to measure how business is being conducted and make sure to look at how rankings from your, comp your, your competition are affecting you. If you're not measuring, it'll be hard to determine how to increase sales. And remember, the bottom line here is to increase sales, literally. And sales conversions play a huge role. The thing is, if the conversion rate is low, it's best to determine why. Conversions equate sales. Okay, conversions equate sales. And uh, so the percentage needs to be high to show relevance to other consumers. So you want to examine which type of traffic is, visit is actually visiting the website and research why the search results are not ending in sales. Is it because of the high bounce rate? What, it, what is it? Is the target market relevant to your products? Do your products have an, an advantage against competitors? Think about that. Also, you want to think about bringing in sales, bring in sales traffic externally. So while Amazon brings in a ton of its own traffic, you can also have this outreach with targeted traffic from Facebook, for example, AdWords, YouTube, and bloggers that use Amazon advertising, most likely via an Amazon ads agency. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. Into this conversation, I was just talking to you about the top ten, pro the top three, rather the top three proven ways to beat Amazon eight Amazon's A10 algorithm to boost your e-commerce sales on the platform. Number one, relevancy. Number two, customer satisfaction. And number three, conversion rate. Thank you so much. I'll speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous. <music>